the Trump administration, a new administration, is now reviewing where the Obama administration left it, considering whether we should provide defensive arms to Ukraine or not. So that's the state of play. Uh, in terms of the impact of it, uh, I hear these arguments that it's somehow provocative to Russia or that it's going to embolden Ukraine to attack. These, these, are, these are just flat out wrong. Uh, first off, Russia is already in Ukraine. They are already heavily armed. There are more Russian tanks there than in Western Europe <laughs> combined. Uh, it is a large, large military presence. And there's an even larger military presence surrounding Ukraine from Russian territory. Russia's right to do that. It's their territory. They can put their military there. But the, the Russians know they are very, very strong. And the Ukrainians know that the Russians are very, very strong. So this is not going to provoke Russia to do, what, to do more than they're already doing. And it also isn't going to change any kind of balance that way. What it does do is it gives, uh, it would give, if it were decided, it would give Ukraine an opportunity to defend itself uh, if uh, Russia were to take further steps um, against Ukrainian territory. Russia says it won't do that and isn't doing that, so then there should be no risk to anybody if that's the case.